I think that teaching is a lot like parenting and that we really build on relationships. And as much as we can, reach out to kids to connect with them and build that relationship. Once you have the connection, you can use that as leverage for achievement. And that'd be, you know, I'd just say, don't be shy. You know, reach out to kids, ask them how they're doing, and then maybe share a little story about yourself. Tell them what you did over the weekend. Did you see Iron Man 3? Because probably the kids saw Iron Man 3 too, and you can talk about that. If there's too much water in one place, the body, to maintain homeostasis, regulates the amount of water on each side. Try to get to know like which kids really just want to come in and start class with an independent activity, which kids really need to interact to get warmed up. But I think, you know, looking at my students when they walk in the door, just getting a sense of each one, how are they feeling, what do they need, that kind of helps get the class started together. And you know, we can do a lot of things together. Everything doesn't have to be differentiated. We can have a lot of things that we all do together. But then you kind of have to watch for the moments when people need a little bit of extra time, a little bit of something separate. It's, it's, it's a really difficult question to answer because she does so much. What she does is she will um, teach to the student rather than teach to the class. So what she'll try and do is she'll try and figure out what each student likes and try and teach to that, and that, that really helps out a lot with what we're interested in. What are we seeing that's related to each other? Is this rock? Last year in life science, we were doing a cell unit, and we were building a model of a cell but we built it using edible parts. And so we made it out of jello and out of like canned fruit and out of different like candies and stuff. And so it really helped me to recognize the parts. When people say like about ribosomes or something, I say, oh yeah, that's the sprinkles. Or like the cell wall, oh yeah, that was the licorice. So I would like to introduce to you the 2013 Education Minnesota, Minnesota Teacher of the Year, Megan O'Reilly. There's a group that's paying for me to take a one-week class at Harvard in Boston, and I'm really excited. I've never been to Harvard, especially not as a student. They never would have let me in there, so I get a chance to learn some stuff at Harvard. Um, and probably the best thing out of all of this is that I and the other um, teachers of the year from all the states get to meet President Barack Obama. I'm very excited about that. Well, I think OPEN has a couple of special things that happen in terms of how we connect with families. The, the first thing is that we get to have families with us for so long, and that's, it's just such a blessing. It's so nice to be able to get to know a kid through the years, to have parents keep coming back to the same teacher over the years, to get to know what the kid needs, get to know what they're capable of. You can push them as hard as they can possibly be pushed when you know them really well. The second thing that our school gets to do is we have a really special homeroom or advisory period called CREW. Um, and CREW is a time that's set aside for relationship building, for building academic skills, for building character traits. And I get to have the same kids in my CREW from grades 7 through 12, 6 through 12. So we have a close-knit sense of belonging, a family within the school. Kids know they can trust the people in that group. They know I'm going to go to bat for them no matter what. And I also get a chance to call those parents from time to time and say, hey, guess what happened that was really great? I would say you know, to my fellow teachers, we're so pressed for time and it's so hard to you know, get anything on our to-do list done, but something that can really give you a list is when something is going great, call the parent and tell them and celebrate together. And now you have that connection and now you and the parent are on a team. You started positive and you can move forward together. The work that we do is like interesting and fun. It truly strives to make us do the best that we can. When I fail a test, she lets me retake it and like she helps me through it step by step.